How cool is this guy? It's, is this a frog? He's got a spider web on his little frog hand. Are you not enchanted? I definitely am. Hi YouTube and welcome. My name is Jan and on this channel we see and celebrate God in the world around us. Today we're going to take a trip to my front porch so you can meet my new friends, a praying mantis and a frog and see what they have to teach us about being grateful for what's right before us and about being in the moment. We're going to talk about getting more comfortable in our own skin and why that matters, especially for nature and wildlife photographers. And I'll share a few tips and tricks about how to get shots like these and these. So stick around if you're interested, hit that like button, and please don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a moment. I was shooting today with my trusty Canon 100mm L-series lens, which you know all about if you've seen my previous video. If you haven't checked it out yet for my full review, please click the link in the description box or check out the link at the top of the screen. I love this lens. I love this lens because it reveals God's magic all around. You can step onto your front porch and whatever is immediately before me now. I have the technology and the tools to capture in minute detail, such minute detail that it makes you go, wow. It makes you stop what you're doing just for a minute and look. And isn't that what worship is all about? Isn't that what sharing and glorifying God is all about? Stopping what you're doing and at least for a moment going, wow. That's all I wanna do on this earth and I believe that's all I was put here to do. Whether it's through images, words, video, ideally a combination of all of those things at the same time, why not? Let's get crazy. <laughs> and for me, I love knowing that with this lens, I can walk onto my porch just like everyone else that I may come across in a day. We all walk out a door, right, at some point. And whatever is right before me, I can start to capture and share. To whom little can be entrusted, much will be given. Have you ever heard that? To me, that means start where you are, minister where you are, worship where you are, pray where you are. Get that right first. Get your family right, get your home right. And then move on to the greater world. Then move on to wider ministry if you're called and if God equips you. Then move on to more ambitious professional goals if you're called and if God equips you. But start here. Start with the macro. Start with your front porch. And there's such incredible joy and magic to be found there. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this guy. How cool is this thing? This is a praying mantis that was on my porch. Or what about this guy? How cool is this guy? It's, is this a frog? He's got a spider web on his little frog hand. Are you not enchanted? I definitely am. And I think it's those moments, those moments of enchantment and wonder, that's when God shows up in our world, in our faces, right here, right now. And he cannot be denied. So where's your frog? Where's your praying mantis? Do you have your camera? Are you ready to capture them? Have you summoned your courage? Are you ready to share them? And if you're not, how can you get in the word and learn how to be? How can you build a community and learn how to be? What do you need to do to become equipped? To step onto your own front porch to see and celebrate and glorify God with every moment of your day, with everything you see, with every shot. 
to work and live in joy as if for him and him alone. What's it going to take? Whatever you thought about watching this video, that's where you should start. Start today, start now. Don't delay. You have ideas for reasons and I guarantee you they're probably great. And if they're not, so what? Throw some spaghetti at the wall and move on. I've built businesses, nonprofits, projects, and everything in between by throwing spaghetti at walls. What have you got to lose? Nothing. What have you got to gain? An entire world full of the glory of God. In the course of watching this little guy for probably 30 minutes, I learned a lot about him. I saw the exquisite detail around his eyes and tried, mostly in vain, to capture his beautiful blink on video. And that's how we learn about things, isn't it? We spend time with them. It can be a lost art these days, and it's something that takes practice. So I challenge you to go onto your porch today and spend some time there. What do you see? What is before you? What can you capture and share with the world? If you're a photographer and you're interested in capturing images, the most important thing I can tell you is to be true to yourself. You have got to do you, nobody else. God gave you your vision and your perspective for reasons known only to him. So embrace them. Learn from the best, but don't try to be them. Don't try to be anybody with you. And when you find your world, get that lens and capture it. Roll around in it with no apologies. Never look back. So grab your camera and let's hit your porch. I can't wait to find out what you see and what's out there waiting for you. Let me know by leaving a comment below. What did you find? What struck you today? What was on your front porch that made you go, wow, God, thank you for being here. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, I hope you have a very happy day.